I love ribs, but I think that they're really too time consuming to make. Don't tell anybody. I'm sorry, I love ribs. I'm not necessarily willing to wait four or five hours or even three hours in the oven, on the grill, etc. Sometimes I come home and I just know I want ribs in less than an hour from frozen. If you're like me, then stick around because I'm going to teach you how to take ribs from frozen to on the table in under an hour. Before I do, you gotta like and subscribe, okay? Like, come on. So these are St. Louis spare ribs. They've already been halved, which makes my work a little bit easier because it's gonna be easier from frozen to get them into the Instant Pot. Super simple. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a soda and dry rub mixture so that we can get some nice pressure from the liquid inside the Instant Pot and we should have ready to eat ribs under an hour. We're going to be putting these in for about 35 minutes. It depends on how thick your ribs are, how many you're putting in there, obviously. If you like fall off the bone or if you like a little bit of tug or chew to your rib, obviously you're gonna wanna pressure cook it for a little bit less time. So that's gonna be really up to you. And then what I like to do is either finish them off with a little bit more sauce or a glaze, depending on what you like, in the oven, or you can put them in the air fryer for even more crispiness, which is very exciting. So let's get started on this super easy and simple recipe that is so delicious for any diet you're on. Okay, so I have my ribs in here. They're stacked side by side and I put my dry rub on them already. This is the same dry rub that I use for my keto-friendly barbecue wings. It has ancho chili powder, uh, smoked paprika, garlic and onion powder, and a little bit of stevia in there also to give it that little bit of sweetness because most Dry rubs for barbecue have sugar in them and because I live a sugar-free existence, I don't want that. But, so I have my ribs in here side by side. They're covered in the rub and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my soda to give it sort of that caramelization even though it is sugar-free. A lot of people might feel like this is weird because Dr. Pepper or Coke is typically used in barbecue as a uh, flavoring or like, to make a sauce. However, I use root beer. <laughs> you might think it's weird, but I think it turns out awesome. Here I have the syrup that I use with my soda stream to make root beer at home. So what I'm going to do is one cup full of this and then two cups of water in my little instant pot and then we should be good. And then we'll throw it in the instant pot for around 35 minutes. Again, this is diet or sugar-free. You don't have to go about it this way. This is just how I purchase soda. But if you just wanna buy diet soda, whatever flavor you like, if you like Dr. Pepper, go ahead and do that. Um, but I use root beer. It's just a personal preference. Up to you, just showing you how I do it here in my house. <laughs> Okay, so I've set my Instant Pot for 35 minutes on high pressure. You just press manual, then pressure to adjust it to high pressure, and then you adjust the time. I'm gonna do 35 minutes because they're frozen. If you're, they're not frozen, I wouldn't do it more than 25 minutes unless you really like fall off the bone. I like a little bit of tug on my ribs, so that's what I'm gonna be doing, and then I will release the pressure and pull them out and we'll finish them. You can do it in the oven or you can do it in the air fryer. Really a matter of personal preference, but all I have to do is wait 35 minutes now. So here's what the ribs look like out of the Instant Pot. You can see most of the meat has already pulled away from the bone, but we do want to get a little bit of a char that we would normally get in the traditional baking or grilling method. So I put half of the rack into an air fryer if you have one, and then another into the oven. So we're just going to be doing this at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes or so. It's already been in there for about three minutes. And then we'll do the same thing in the oven with the other half. You'll see here, this is the portion that's going into the oven. Again, we're baking at a high heat because we're not trying to cook these anymore. They're already cooked. We're just trying to get a nice little char on the outside as much as we can. You can also opt to broil if that is more your speed. So this is what they look like coming out of the air fryer. You can see there's a little bit more of a crispiness there on the outside and these are ready for consumption. Sorry, sometimes I sing things. Um, look at that crackling outside, so delish.
And here we have the ones that come out of the oven. And again, this whole process happened in under an hour because we did 35 minutes in the Instant Pot and then an additional 10 minutes baking or broiling depending on your preference, and here we are. It's perfection. Everybody in my family enjoyed the heck out of these, and it makes ribs so much more attainable, fall off the bone, tender. There's a little bit of a chew left with this time frame, and yet total tenderness. Here's a picture and video of the inside in case you're wondering what we're dealing with here. It was quite great. Also, this meat is from ButcherBox. Uh, their pork is just out of this world good. So I hope you enjoy this recipe and let me know down below if you use it yourself. Well, that does it for ribs in under an hour from Frozen. I hope this makes your life a little bit easier, a little bit simpler, and allows you to eat ribs more often because let's get real. Isn't that the goal? <laughs> See you next time.